The man who attacked a Fresno Valentine's Day vendor is headed to prison. The attack caught on camera stunned the community and created fear among other street sellers. Action News reporter Corn Hoggard shows us one part of the punishment the judge hopes will prevent future crimes. The Martin Chavez who sat in court Wednesday morning wearing a sling doesn't appear nearly as physically imposing as the Martin Chavez who attacked a street vendor in Southeast Fresno just three months earlier. 16-year-old Camelia Beltran saw Chavez trying to steal from her 77-year-old grandfather's Valentine's Day goodies. Chavez attacked the grandfather, his two adult daughters, and Camelia before she grabbed her phone to record video. And I started recording, but before I recorded, he had threw his hand at me and he socked me and I was like, like I was just like I was really scared. Thousands of people watched the video after she shared it on social media. Family members say they got death threats because of the post, but they also got tips and Fresno police identified Chavez as the attacker. He's now pleaded no contest to one count of robbery. It's not his first conviction, but his public defender said all of them stem from the same issue. Mr. Chavez's legal problems are a result of long-term substance abuse. Ryan Yu said Chavez is remorseful about his attack. None of the victims wanted to come to court to see Chavez sentenced, and they didn't submit any comments to the judge. Street vendors around the city told us this attack and others have them watching their backs, and Judge James Kelly called it a terrible crime. I'm hoping that uh, in the future, after this prison term, that we don't see this type of thing from him again. Chavez will now serve a six-year prison term. The judge also ordered he get substance abuse treatment while in custody. In downtown Fresno, Corn Hawker, ABC 30, Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.